Welcome to my channel. Today let's take a look at the new Wagner called Uber Ultra, a monstrous beast. Let's go! Here's the Bogner Uber Ultra, a, in this case, 130 watt beast with two channels. This is a amp that is a journey through gain. It has so many options as far as gain is concerned. Six preamp tubes where two of them, well, four preamp tubes are for the preamp and gain. The two last tubes are for uh, the FX loop and the power amp regulation. All right, so on the left, right hand side is channel two that's red right now, and then the left channel is channel one. On the left side, over here, we have the power amp controls, and if you look underneath, there is a bunch of switches um, that control, you know, basically flavors again, uh, and, and like brightness, and how to tighten the bottom end. Right now, I have a Ford and Sewell uh, gate in the effects loop where all this gain you need a gate. So here we go, here's the ultra mode. No pedals in front, just straight into the amp. This is what the amp sounds like. <laughs> If you look over here, underneath here, there are three switches. The first one is the three modes. I think it's probably the most important switch of them all because the character of the amp changes dramatically with these. So in ultra mode, and in uber mode, and in crunch mode. Most gain to less, least amount of gain. Now, the Uber mode here is very similar to the twin jet sounding, but more on channel one, which has the Uber mode, clean mode, and the crunch mode. So here we go with that. Here's the Uber mode. And here's the crunch mode. And here's the clean mode. But this is an edge of breakup right now. I'll put it on a split cord. There's a bright switch here, 
Let's put it on open mode. <laughs> It begs for more gain, yes, unbelievably so. Hmm. Okay, there's a boost. If you look here, you can actually engage another tube and get more gain. Now, what it happened if you put it on crunch mode and did the same thing? Pretty cool. Now back to the other channel. Now the other switch is here. The tight, fat, Doom, focus, and bright. Let's tackle the doom, focus, and bright. Now put it in uber mode. So doom mode. Focus. Notice how the frequency goes up where it's getting that cap in there. Okay, so now we're getting to the unusual part of this amp, which is this metamorph dial. It has two modes, the tight mode and the fat mode. So, pretty good description of this. So, let's do it in ultra mode and I'll put it in tight and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, a little less gain, please. It does exactly what I would consider, you know, logical is it tightens up the booty on this sound. There's more bottom in. And tightens it up. And gets it more mid forward, right? GMT. Okay, now switching over to fat mode. So the sound to me is immediate. It's fatter and more round. But the Bogner bark still bites through here. So let's go over here. Now what about putting some doom on it? All right, so pretty effective stuff here. As far as the left hand is concerned, you have the presence, depth, and density, master volume one and two, and a three-way switch underneath. So starting from left to right, the presence, obvious, typical of amps, but the switch underneath will change the emphasis of where that frequency is on the presence. So we'll do that right now. Depth knob, 
uh, still controls the warmth and bottom of the amp. And this is all, by the way, these left knobs all has to do with the power amp and uh, the presence, depth and density is all about the feedback of, you know, the power amp section of this. So the density, from what I understand is, you can kind of look at it from like a variable uh, control to control kind of the speed and the feel of the amp. So if you put it all the way to the left here, of course, the, the, the depth and the presence will change behavior a little bit. Um, so they're kind of interconnected here. So it's more of a feel thing to me. Um, I do hear it, of course, especially that the switches uh, changes the presence frequency. I think this amp is, is super interesting with this journey through gain. And of course it has the typical Bogner sound in the sense that I consider it the Bogner bark. It, it's very uh, aggressive, but never bright in, in a kind of shrill way, it never gets fizzy. No matter how much you, you'll start breaking up with too much gain. Um, so you might ask, you know, well, I have pedals to do this and that and the other thing. Now let's put it on Uber over here. And then we'll add a an 808 to it. Um, so this is without the 808. <laughs> with the 808. I mean, that to me is exactly what a Tube Screamer does. You know, focuses the sound, tightens up the bottom end. Without it. So yeah, it takes pedals, but the trick is, especially with overdrives, is that you need to be able to have it in the right mode for it to work. Because if you put it on ultra, it'll be too much. Um, but of course you have the boost. Again, journey through gain. The gain right now is just set to, to noon on this channel, but you can So you can see that the gain becomes less effective as the gain goes up. Here's where the cabinet sound. of criticisms of this amp. Um, one of them is that with all these options and tone options such as the clean and the uber and crunch channel and all that stuff, 
it would be nice that you could switch between them uh, on the fly, but you can't. You have to flick the switches and dial them in and so forth because they're only two channels, so you gotta pick two. And the other thing is, and it's a luxury problem, trust me on this one, these red lights on the front are pretty bright, so if you sit right in the line of them, they're blinding. I love this amp. It's definitely be quickly becoming in my top three amps. It just is a modern take on tube amps because it's all tubes and it sounds all tube but in a very modern way. Very cool amp. It's here. I think it's here to stay. I want to keep it. It's great. It just, I mean, I spent some time with it, but I feel like I need to spend a lot more time with it still uh, exploring all these gain options because when you're in a mix, for example, it's really interesting how you can, you can just say, oh, it needs a little more of this and that and the other thing to fit the mix. It's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments about this amp, leave them below. And until next time, take care.